Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring. BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Tony here from Next Wave DV, and I'm here with Tonis from LCD Viewfinder, and you guys have a brand new EVF model that you're showing off today, right? Yeah, this is our, our new baby. It has been in de development for one year, and it will it will take about one month before it hits, it hits the stores, I think, maybe six weeks. And here it is. So, for starters, I will demonstrate what, what what functions it has? This is the user interface, membrane switches, splash dust proof, hit up arrow and it will display zebras, overexposure zebras. Hit on uh, F2, yeah, down arrow, it will display underexposure. Left arrow, it will display red peaking on black and white background. This um, magnifying glass here, hit it, it will show one-to-one -one pixel magnifications. Then you can move the magnified part along and you can always recall the last position of that. This one here is uh, economy button. This will uh, shut off some of the image processing and uh, dim down the backlight to conserve battery power, especially when you are in viewfinder mode. And so speaking of batteries, this will run on four AA batteries. These are encased. Uh, you can change it uh, with uh, these quick quick change cassettes. Two cassettes are included. So if uh, batteries deplete, you can really quickly change the batteries. Why we opted for this uh, enclosed battery compartment? Um, because of the use in close uh, cold climates. So the heat from the processor can keep the batteries warm and the, the lengthen the, the battery life. What kind of battery life can we expect from it? Battery life uh, currently in the test bench is like 12 hours, but uh, but let's be conservative. I think it will be uh, six hours or so. So with the two cassettes, it will be more than enough for one day. And then what kind of resolution and screen size does it have? It's a fringe, fringe screen with 800 uh, by 480 pixels. It is 24-bit screen, so some, I think it's uh, 16 million colors. It really, really bright screen. The the touch per inch is similar to iPhone 4, for comparison. And then for mounting, what kind of options do you have? Actually, this is the the prototype mount, but the the basics are the same. You can adjust for your eye offset for height. And once, once you're set for shoulder mount, you can go. If, if you want to do maybe from hip, you can just turn it like that. It's a friction mount like on any ordinary ENG viewfinder. You can do this, you can go overcrowd like that. And still, if you want to use quickly on your shoulder, you just go like that, no time, nothing to adjust. It will always keep the distance with your eye comfortable and also the diopter module, it will not extend. It's just like that. And um, so we are, we are basically pr providing a real ENG style viewfinder with HDMI loop through and everything like that. HDMI loop through actually has audio loop through. So if you want to record uncompressed video with Atomos Ninja or the devices like that, you can have your audio too, because this is shortcoming, a big shortcoming when you can't record audio to your recording device. And then what kind of pricing can we expect? 750. That sounds good to me. And all mounting options included. Yeah, complete package. Well, thanks for your time, Jonas. And for more information, where can people go to check out your website? I think lcdvf.com is our main page right now. You will be redirected soon. We have many, many news to come. Sounds good. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.